Welcome back to our program. I'm your host, Wu Rei Guo. In this segment, we will continue our conversation with Mr. Simon Chang, who is a professional photographer, currently lives, you know, living in Prague. And we're going to continue with the question on the themes right. that you have this, you know, explored before and continue to explore in your you know, photography. Can right. you share with us some of them? Well, mainly it's about people in the, in the different environment. Okay. For example, um, I spent two years mm -hmm. uh, in one of the biggest like, mental hospitals okay. in Central Europe, and I made a story. Right? Just by you know, photo shooting those uh, patients? But don't look at me like that. I'm totally <laughs> normal. <laughs> no, no, I know you are. <laughs> no, I went there like, uh, every second day almost, or almost every day, like, to, to take some pictures. Yeah. And actually, it's one pavilion. And for the ladies that are suffering from like depression okay. or this kind of thing, like mental disease. Yes. And yeah, many ladies, like yeah. let's say a range of the age, like differs from like 17 okay. to 70. Okay. And, like they got like around like 40 ladies in but one let me ask you, Why a mental hospital? Oh, because my mom, she's working uh, in a hospital okay. uh, in Taipei. She still does? Uh, still. Okay. Right, like for like 30 years. Okay. And I always remember since I was a little boy. Okay. Like almost every day, like after school, I went to the hospital to wait for her. And for me, it was kind of like, like a playground. Mm. Right? I saw different like, like departments. Yes, of course. Maybe, you know, like unconsciously. And I consider okay, it's a place like with lots of stories. Mm -hmm. And I saw like happy people who just got newborn babies. Yes. Or like people suffering, like walking around. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, I was talking with my friends. Like, it was my second year in Prague. Okay. And the first two years, I mainly photographed on the streets. Okay. Right? And later, I would like to, like to find one place and to spend like longer time and to make one story. Okay. And they told me, so, yeah, I'll go to check that uh, Bohenice. Okay. That's the name of the hospital. Okay. It's the biggest one in Central Europe. Okay. And I just went there and I talked to the director and I wrote him a long letter and I showed him like the pictures I did before. Right. Right. And then luckily mm -hmm. I just entered the hospital. Mm -hmm. And that time I spent like two years. Mm -hmm. And it was really a great experience. Mm -hmm. And I saw like lots of stories, and even lots of stories I, I, I wasn't able to photograph. Okay. And I made a small exhibition and I brought some pictures back to the, the patients. And I really treat them like, well, I, I feel them like, like my friends. Yeah, of course. And every time I was joking with my Czech friends, I said, hey, you know what? It's like I fall in love with your country mm -hmm. when I was photographing in the mental hospital. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's like, it's real, totally real. I wouldn't say totally real, but it's like, it's like really intense. Okay. But really other intense. than the mental hospital, what other, you know, memorable projects have you taken, you know, taken on before? Yeah, uh, for example, one day I got a conversation with one of the patients in the mental hospital. Okay. And she asked me the same question. It's like, oh, so apart from photographing us in the mental hospital, uh, what else do, uh, do, you, else do, do you photograph? Oh, mm -hmm. I like, mm. So I photographed uh, circus, okay. uh, hunters. Okay. <laughs> hunters, said, how do you do it? Do you go out on a hunting trip with them? Yeah, I did. Okay. Like All many right. times. Okay. And usually it's like in the countryside of Czech Republic. Of course. It's kind of like a national activity. Uh -huh. It's like it's a like I traditional would thing. So, yes. Yeah. And during the winter, it's like uh, uh, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's like the snow, like to your knee, you know, mm -hmm. and like a bunch of guys like walking in the forest. Okay. And it's like it's, mm, yeah. I, I really enjoy like mm -hmm. joining them. Yeah, I probably forgot to mention this, but you also go into a graduate program. At the university there, right. uh, do some of the uh, graduate training, you know, maybe have a assignment that you need to do a, a certain you know subject, right. you know, uh, for your you know, school you know, school work. Right. Uh, did that also become part of your you know pursuit in uh, photography? Right. Actually, it's pretty much flexible. I mean, okay. the program we got in FAMU. Okay. That's the name of the school. Yes. Right. So actually, you just choose one mentor. Okay. And I got mine. Yeah, Victor. Yeah. Right, Victor. Yeah. No. Yeah. So we're working on like different, like documentary projects. For example, that uh, the mental hospital story mm -hmm. or the hunter story. Okay. Almost all my stories is like I was working with him. Okay. Yeah, it's Good. like every time, like uh, I just brought him some pictures. Okay. And he was helping me with the the, the selection, or it's not not too much about the technique. No. But it's about like uh, the approach. Yes. 
and what I learned from them or from the school, many from my mentors, like you got to to respect the people, yes. and it's kind of uh, mutual work. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, I, I always like thankful. I really okay. appreciate. Okay. Without that openness, no. there would be nothing on the image. Of course. So it's like it's a thing work. Mm -hmm. and usually, I just went to a place, and first of all, I just left my camera on the table. And we talk like this. You communicate first. Right, of course. Mm -hmm. You need to, you know, to make the people like comfortable. And then it's like once you feel that openness a little bit mm -hmm. or some positive signal, right? It's like you photograph with, with your nose actually. You gotta smell like all the situation. Right. Okay. Once you, you, you sense okay, it's the right moment. Right? right. You just grab your camera and you even don't have to ask. Okay. And people they feel totally comfortable. Like you're photographing your families, mm -hmm. your good friends. And another thing I, I truly believe is like the thing we're doing, I mean, working as a photographer, mm -hmm. it's like those scientists in the lab. Yes. And you're studying some people, yes. like under that uh, instrument, right? So how can you expect people, and uh, they, they got to behave like the moment, they are not being like studied. Okay. You know what so I mean? So you got to have the right combination of different circumstances right. and conditions. And you got to be gentle. Yes. Yeah. So that, you know, maybe, you know, Simon, there are some people who will say that photographers, yes, they use their cameras to express people or places right. in a certain subjective way, mm -hmm. certain, you know, subjective angle. You know, maybe the way that you see, you know, the country, the city right. in a certain light. That's the way you want to shoot the city, you know, shoot right. the people. Uh, is that a fair assessment of uh, um, photographers or yourself in general? Right, it's, it's a really good question, but it's, uh, it would never ever be fair. Okay. But what I care is, um, I mean, that mutual work thing mm -hmm. I just mentioned. Is that, for example, I mean, it's really hard to say. I mean, I'm the one who came with the camera. Yes. Right. So I'm the one who chose the angle or yeah. the moment. To, the lighting. <laughs> I, I, usually I don't use actual lighting <laughs> yes. anyway, but, but you're totally right. I'm the one uh, who came with that tool. Yes. Right. But I also believe is that but we are the people, we are the authors. Yes. And we are making this project, we are making this story like all together. It's not only my work. Mm -hmm. And that's why I mean that openness from the people in my image. That's something extremely important to me. It's like you went to see some photo exhibition. Yes. Right? And I mean, if it's about people, mm -hmm. right? And from time to time, you feel something weird mm -hmm. from the facial expression or. You, know, you just feel this image looks weird. So I suppose, like, you, because people, you know, you, you saw the, the, the relationship between the photographer and the people in the image. Okay. If it's not like we're cared. Okay. Right. You just send something weird, like, right away. Okay. Maybe you couldn't tell what's that exactly. But that's, usually that's what counts the most, mm -hmm. that respect. Yeah, I mean, as course. a photographer, I knew, okay, I'm the one with the tool, mm. right? But, you know, let's make the story together. Mm. Uh, if you agree with my idea to share your story with the others, I'm just a messenger, mm -hmm. right? But I need this kind of cooperation. Mm. And therefore, okay, usually, I, I also mentioned that as well. I left my camera and we talk. Once we, we, we achieve certain a level of comfort. Yeah, and the yeah. trust. Mm. Right? And that's something extremely important yeah. for my work. You're probably very modest. I know, you know, from some, you know, looking at some of your works, uh, I understand that your subject you know, certainly from the works I've seen, uh, very comfortable, very trusting in you, yeah, in, in t you know, the type of angle that you take. Mm -hmm. But also throughout the different themes, right. I think you know, two particularly stood out. One is journey, the other one is minority group. Right. Can you share with us any particular reason for those two you know, themes? Right. I've been talking with my, my, my friends and they knew my story as well. Okay. And I realized something, it's kind of, it's like, you know, you saw the movies, right, in New York. A bunch of black people yes. made a fire yeah. on the street in New York uh, because I was at Standing on the street corner. Yes. They knew each other. Yeah. And, you know. For me, it's like every time I met those people, either minority, with people they're dealing with like difficult situation. Yes. And I would say I, I saw part of myself in them. Mm, okay. And therefore, I mean, I can easily, I wouldn't say easily, but I mean, relatively easily, I can relate myself you can identify to those with people yes. yeah, mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. And we talk about, okay, our situation. I, I would tell them, okay, I'm a foreigner. I'm living in a foreign country. 
in the beginning, I knew nothing about the, co the country, I knew nothing about the language. Mm. And I'm fighting for something myself as well, like what you guys are doing. Mm. And, and yeah, they, they saw me like a, you know, a Chinese guy, came from Taiwan, you know, mm -hmm. living in Europe, and came all the way to, to try to know their story. Yes. And then you found that frequency, yeah. like right away. Made that connection. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. So uh, as you continue, in your pursuit of you know professional photography, right. I think what is important is what is your next goal or objective. What, where is that breakthrough that you like to see yourself? Maybe you know not today, but you know uh, right. two three years down the line. Where do you like to see yourself? I want to have like two lovely babies. Okay, <laughs> but that's on the family <laughs> side, right. but on the professional front. I know it's like uh, I want to make my own film. Okay, it's you mean motion picture. A feature film. Oh, feature film. Okay. I've been writing like for a long time. Okay, so you're, right. you're also a writer for major production, uh, Hollywood movies. Is that what you were referring to? Uh, no, not the Hollywood film, but uh, it's like, um, just like a feature film. Okay, feature film, but with a story. And without any alien. Okay. Know, like no bombing <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay. But real, something real. Okay. It's like after seeing so many stories. Yes. Uh, I'm doing something like it's a field study. Okay. And I'm like, you know, collecting the stories. Okay. Before you go further, we're going to take yeah. another break sure, and we'll sure. come back. Yeah. Well, we're going to pick up on that subject. We're going to explore the other interests that Mr. Simon Chen has besides professional photography. I'll be back in three minutes.